Hi guys, I'm Atticus. And I'm Boo Radley. Right now, in the year 2012, not many of you know us personally. However, it is now the year 2022, and we would like to tell the past yous that you're in for a real treat. Just so you know who we are, we are Shannon and Renisha's adopted children. You know those secret beach vacations they always take? Well, they're actually visiting orphanages without telling you. They actually adopted us a little after this very family reunion when we were seven and nine, respectively. We never made an effort to know you all, but now that we have, we sort of regret it. Take a look at yourselves ten years into the future. Let's start with the oldest. Billy Dada and Jay Bao were always kind when we saw them, constantly bragging about their amazing grandchildren. But as time moved on, they slowly became more and more obsessed with themselves. I guess they feared old age because now they're a little obsessed with their figures. Jama D. We will impress everyone in the summage if you lose 10 more pounds. Eh? 10 more pounds. Here's a look into what you think is bald Gantidara and quiet Manjuba. Maybe you don't know them as well as you think. Candidato was watching TV when he discovered men's Insta hair growth applicator, and he took to it. A little too much. Manjuba, on the other hand, felt her face needed a little... lit. Yeah, not gonna lie. I was a little scared. Now here's a look into the lives of two of the hippest elders that you know. They gave up their banking jobs, took to the streets, Romish Dada used his smooth style, and Yimmy Baju sold her goodie bags to make a living. Ray! Ray! Look at the money I made from selling my goodie bags! <laughs> Thanks, Nirma Mama. You may know Rocky Dada and Ushaba as two hardworking individuals that will do anything for their hotels. They're still hardworking, but at an entirely new task. Ushaba makes a living working as a firefighter, serving the Galax community for about five years now. Some things don't really go down in Galax. Rocky Dada likes to keep business booming for his wife by being the world's most wanted arsonist. Ho ho, fire! Stop that. You may know Monarch Mama as quite the lady killer, with hair as voluminous as a horse's mane. Still quite the lady killer, Monarch Mama picked up his stuff and moved to Salt Lake City, Utah, where he is a happily married Mormon. As you see them, 
Rajamama is looking good and healthy, the fittest you've ever seen a man. Minamami is a doll, super nice, very welcoming, and very classy. All Darren can talk about is sports and being the next Eagles wide receiver, a kid with a dream. Jaden is very cute and friendly. She's so small. The picture changed when Mina Mommy decided to go on her first ever business trip. Rajamama got a little tired of cooking every night, so he resorted to Long John Silvers and slowly became more and more obsessed with their chicken. Because of Rajamama's decreased physical activity, Darren had no one to play with, so he decided to take on other hobbies. Jaden took up her brother's lost dreams and became a professional football player for the Carolina Panthers, where she plays defensive end. Things were just never the same. Raj, kids, I'll be back in three months. Bye! Time to eat some chicken. My precious. Mommy always seemed interested in fashion. Anjay Mama always liked the food industry, and their kids were pretty normal. Very smart kids. Very good at spelling. After moving again to New Jersey to partner with Snooky and JWoww on a new clothing line, Brother Mommy couldn't be happier. Anjay Mama couldn't really find his niche until the casting calls were posted for the Real House Husbands of New Jersey. Shivan and Nami both wanted to further their education internationally. Shivan was in school in India, and Ami was in fashion in France. They made their return to the States just in time to go to college. This needs to go, this can stay. This needs to go, this can stay. Snooky, do you agree? Okay. Mama was a true family man, but his first love was the sub, the firehouse sub. Rima Mami was taking on the idea of catering while furthering her love for running. Ashley continued her weekly swim lessons and girly crushes on celebrities. Anjali was a budding artist. Unfortunately for Rakish Mama, after he went completely berserk on two customers, Firehouse thought it'd be best to relieve him of his duties. He then retaliated by purchasing 16 Subway franchises. Rima Mami took on her own unique project, combining the two things she loved most. Ashley surprised everyone entirely by devoting her life to the sea. Anjali changed her name to Angelica and took art to an entirely new level. I'm with Subway now, er? Sergeant Ashley Dyer reporting for duty, sir. We are Atlanta A&T. You know this Angelica on this drum. Quoting from a great rap legend. Coming up next is Lil Sunny D. Chillin' in Atlanta with his wife, Misty. They got two kids, Ishan and Ali, most notably known for Ote Family. Sunday Mama and Misty Mommy no longer live in ATL. They now tour the U.S. on the hit Broadway musical tour of Bollywood Dreams. Following after her hometown hero, Michael Vick, Ali decided to take Sammy and train him into a professional dogfighter. She now owns and operates a successful dog fight club. 
Ishan didn't see the point in higher education when he already had so much inspiration right at the dinner table. He skipped out on his college education to publish a successful comic book series called E-Draman. Marvel has signed it to their next biggest film production. Sundip, get out of the bathroom. Fine, I'll just practice on my own. Hey doggies, fight! <laughs> you all know Mina Massey and Jay Massey as two loving aunts that always take care of their family. That still is the case, however, they both have two new men in their lives who garner their affections every single day. Jay Massey spends her every waking moment updating her cougar lifestyle. With billionaire pop star Justin Bieber by her side, she is constantly in the spotlight. After Nadal lost his top 10 ranking, Mina Massey went crazy. She then started the ultimate Novak Djokovic fan club. She now has 17, 17, Restraining orders put against her by Mr. Joke himself. Chucky, I love you. Oh my God. You could be my kingy 101. I love you to the moon and back. XOXO. I love you, JB. Mom and Mom were always going to country concerts, sitting in their lawn chairs, drinking beers, and partying it up on the weekends. But during the weekdays, they both worked long and frustrating hours. Our moms got so tired of working all the long hours, they just wanted some time to relax. They decided to take a vacation to Tibet without us, where they eventually grew to enjoy the lifestyles of the Tibetan monks. They now live in a monastery deep in the Himalayas, and we're orphans again. Massey loved her children more than anything in the world. She loved taking care of them as well as her hard-working Amish, who spent his days at his Hyundai dealerships. Shreya was still very young, and Victoria was very outgoing. She loved to talk to everyone. Now Shreya has hit the age of... maturity. And Victoria has decided to give up on talking forever. Now that the kids are fairly independent, Sonia Masi and Amish Masa can finally have some adult time to relax. On a much more serious note, Nibura Nibura Productions is not responsible for any children under the age of 15 to, if they hear this stuff that's about to be said, so it is quite suggested from Atticus and Boo Bradley that you turn around and cover your ears and your mouths and your eyes and Lights. All sensory organs and turn to around. shut it down. So that's Victoria, Shreya, Darren, Jaden, Shiva, and Ami, Ali, Ishan, Ashley, and Anjali if they decide to show up. Um, anybody else? Usha, you might want to close your eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
You were about to. Jelly Bat, turn your hearing aids off. Do it. It's gonna get intense. Okay, it's ugly. Ooh, wow. And you don't want any intense. Thank you. You're probably wondering about the two most important people. You know Serena as the academically gifted child, very independent, speaks improper English, always making jokes, and can never be taken seriously. You know Sophie as the very maternal cousin and niece, probably the most entertaining and hilarious human being on this planet. And she's pretty much the shit talky mushrooms. Well, after a failed medical school career, Serena met young Shantarius Devante Daron John Swayson at the local correctional facility. He taught her the rights and wrongs of the black lifestyle and while simultaneously popping out six Negrindians. And she's pregnant again. has taken to a different path. There's no easy way to say this, but she did. Death by Lemon. Don't say we didn't warn you. This family is nothing like what it seems. Those years spent in the orphanage were cake compared to what we've just witnessed. Now that we have the opportunity to get to know you, we've decided to pass on any further communication with any of you. Moms, no, we love you, but we hope to not ever see you again. If it's any consolation, you did have good food. to further it further the damn just go making good coffee <laughs> yes. oh, 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 oh that's not good what get away from my mama you too near my mama <laughs>